Okay, let's have a look around this uh, 53 plate, so either late 2003 or early 2004. Um, Land Rover Discovery 2, um, TD5 ES Automatic, uh, so the, the high spec one. Um, finished in Epsom Green Metallic, which uh, we always find is the most popular Land Rover colour, um, with cream leather um, piped, I think is it either green or black, I can't remember. Um, Really, really nice one. This has just come to us in part exchange, but uh, in very, very good shape all round. So big spec, you've got full length side steps on it, um, alloys with a, a really nice set of um, uh, Toyo Open Country all-terrain tyres on there. Um, so slightly more aggressive than the normal road tyres. It's got the big soft front A-bar on it. It's the later Discovery 2, so it's got the, uh, the facelift lights and everything. But basically, it's you know it's a full seven seater. Incidentally, it's obviously got the uh, the twin folding rear seats in the back. Apart from sort of factory fitted sat nav, there's not much it hasn't got. Um, it's also we've well, we got full length roof rails, uh, rear step, proper Land Rover factory um, tow pack on there, adjustable style. The lot. And it's in really good shape. We'll go, we'll go around now and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Really not much in the way of bad bits considering it's, um, it's what, 13, 14 years old and it's, uh, it's done 120 odd thousand miles. It's in very, very good shape indeed. There's no real bumper scuffs anywhere, um, which is unusual for one of these, and no dents either. Um, the soft bar just tend to pick up all sorts of insect marks, which, is, which it's got on there, but you can't do a lot about that. Um, and the near side fog lamp has had a stone hit just there, which is... Uh, rendered the, uh, the crack the glass um, but say bonnet bonnet corner oh, sorry, bumper corners are pretty good there's a very faint scuff just there but it's minor um, and down the near side she looks beautifully straight really nice um, bonnet's all good not much stone chipping on the bonnet incidentally a couple of minor chips in the screen I did see one when I was polishing it one tiny one just there which you can't really see when you're driving it's behind the mirror um, it's a heat, it's heated screens, incidentally. Near side door is all good. There's a small mark just there on the mirror housing. There's grass in the way. And they are the proper Land Rover side steps, I think, by the look of it. And inside, she's really, really clean as well. Gorgeous condition. Doesn't smell of dog or anything, unlike some of them. Um, absolutely spot on. The wood's in good shape. Um, seats are all electric. And... Uh, yeah, the leather's lovely. Still can't quite work out that colour there is. I think it's magnolia piped in a sort of a grey colour. Anyway, um, slightly stained matte down there, but it has got mats in the front, but uh, no more than that. Um, same in the back, just all very, very good. Not full of kids' sweets and things. A couple of tiny scratches just around the door handles where people sort of open the doors with rings on and stuff, tends to scratch them slightly, but that's normal. Near side rear wing, all nice. Around the tail end it's all good. And in the back, as I say, it's all nice and clean here, hasn't done heavy work. That's just my hat and my camera case. Um, as I say, the seats fold out, um, got the seat belts and the headrests up there. Um, all the right toys, it's even got the, the uh, toolkit in there. Um, that's always a good sign. The speaker's still reasonably in one piece. That normally gets battered um, on these. That's all good. I really like this. It's just been very well looked after. Down the offside, again, very straight, very clean, very tidy. Um, again, a couple of minor scratches around the door handle. And it's all spot on. It's also got picnic tables. I want to put much of a picnic on there, mind you. They do tend to. Uh, there must be some sort of leg that stops them from. Yeah, this time. Mm. <laughs> anyway, um, driver's door. The only it's the only blemish on the body, really. It's just slightly. Um, it's obviously been scraped on a wall or a garage garage wall or something, just on the back of the driver's door, just there. But um, fairly recent as well, by the look of it. Um, just needs to be touched in. Got some Epsom green paint. In here, driver's seat's all in nice shape. 
certainly commensurate with the mileage. All good. Mm, front wing good. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's also, this one's fitted with a CB radio, uh, although it hasn't got an aerial at the moment, you can get the aerials. Previous owner who we got it from was very much into his off-roading. Um, this one, incidentally, hasn't been properly off-roaded. Um, it has got, say, a slightly more aggressive set of tyres on it, but uh, all we did was go over grass and stuff with it. But, uh, to watch more than compete with this one, he's got a trialer that he uses for, um, for proper off-roading. So, um, there it is. It's, it's a nice late-spec Discovery 2 TD5 automatic, ES spec, so it's got all the toys on it. Um, not much more I can say. It's just a really, really nice example. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.